What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Recently, friend of the channel, Rabbit Labs, opened up an entirely new storefront and has some really cool new products for sale. Straight out of the Parmaham capital of the world, New Jersey, Rabbit Labs was first known for making Clipper Zero add-on boards. It all started with the Death Star IR Blaster that you see right here. Now, the Death Star IR Blaster was one of the first IR Blasters available for the Flipper Zero, and this thing made some waves. Before that, there were really no big creators out there creating things like IR boards. Before that, people were mainly making NRF boards for mouse jacking, or ESP32 Wi-Fi boards, or combo boards. When Rabbit Labs came on the scene, they started making some really cool stuff that nobody had seen before. Well, since then, Rabbit Lab has created an entire lineup of really cool Flipper Zero GPIO boards. Now, with the opening of the new shop, they've added not just Flipper Zero boards, but other cool stuff. One of those items is this little guy, and if you know, you know. We'll talk about it later, but these things are pretty fun. Another thing that I'm super excited for for the Rabbit Lab store is this. This is the latest, pretty much greatest hack RF. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, and again, we'll talk about all of this stuff later. And yeah, I know what you might be thinking. I am in no way being paid by Rabbit Labs. Honestly, those guys have just been absolutely awesome, and they come up with really cool stuff that I get to show off in videos. Well, that's about enough yapping for me. Let's get into it. All right, so I guess the first thing I want to talk about is the Hack RF right here. Now, this ain't your grandma's Hack RF. No, this is the H2M. This is upgraded. It's got an upgraded screen, upgraded buttons, this absolutely gorgeous clear case. I'm a guy who likes to replace cases, but I don't know. I might be leaving the clear case on here. This thing's absolutely fantastic. Now, this one has a built-in microphone, and he's going to be selling with bundles, so you basically can get different antenna options, different SD card options, and a optional speaker which you can get either installed or with the hacker up that you can install yourself now at the time of filming i don't actually have pricing for it but by the time that you get the video out they'll have the prices printed here now, there are a few really cool things about the fact that Rabbit Labs is selling Hack RF. One of which is it's Rabbit Lab. Those guys are awesome and their shipping is super fast. I mean, waiting for AliExpress takes weeks. These guys will ship things out and get it to you very, very quickly. And secondly, this is really important. They're already landed in America. They don't need to go through customs. I've heard a number of people that have gotten their Hack RFs confiscated by customs and you don't want that to happen. So rabbit-labs.com, by the time this video goes live, he should have the Hack RFs on there already for you. So that leads us to this guy. This guy right here is the Evil Crow. It features an ESP32 and two CC1101 chips. Now having two CC1101s means that you can actually transmit or receive on completely different frequencies at the exact same time. The onboard ESP32 also sets up a web server that you can control it wirelessly. What's also cool is that it's actually got two little buttons on there that you can control to do your bidding. So I guess the question is, what does it do? Well, obviously, since you can transmit and receive at the same time, you can do any number of relay attacks. You could even do something like a man in the middle attack on two totally different frequencies it also opens up the potential of things like roll jam which we won't get into right now so that's the evil crow available at rabbitlabs.com and potentially on rabbit labs amazon store now another thing that's on the rabbit labs store that many people don't know about is actually this he's got a number of starter kits now this is the raspberry pi pico starter kit and it's so freaking cool now this thing has a ton of cool stuff in it everything you need to make your first projects now i am a complete new when it comes to Raspberry Pi Pico and pretty much anything with those projects. I know a little bit about the Raspberry Pi Zeros from making Ponegachis, but honestly, I'm brand new. Now, what I love about these kits is the fact that I really do want to start learning about Raspberry Pi, but I have no idea where to start. So not only does the kit make it super easy to learn, but it also makes me excited because now I have all the tools that I need to get started. Also available on Rabbit Labs website is the Arduino Uno R3 project kit. Now this kit comes with everything you need, including a breadboard, they've got resistors, LEDs, wires, distance sensors, everything you could possibly need. Servos, it's so cool. So if you're just now getting into electronics and wanna know where to start, this is the place. Wanna get your kid to stop playing Fortnite and play with something that's actually educational? 
this is where to start. All right, so next up is probably one of the biggest claim to fame that Rabbit Labs has seen is the flux capacitor. Now, the flux capacitor is a really, really nice CC1101 that's tuned specifically for Flipper Zero use. And I printed this really cool case from Uwu Kraken. But this is an absolutely amazing piece of machinery right here. Now, what's cool about the flux capacitor is that it actually takes the Flipper Zero sub gigahertz frequency capabilities and extends it extremely far. Not only does this thing have a huge antenna, but it's also got a much better CC1101 chip on there that has a much cleaner signal. End of the day, that thing works really far, which is cool. Now, a similar board to the Flux Capacitor is this guy, the Gemini board. Now, the Gemini is a dual CC1101 board with a selector switch. So, show you the back because, again, great graphics. But with this little guy, you can actually switch between 433 and 900 megahertz. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because the 433 and 900 megahertz both have different antennas. So you want to make sure you're using an antenna that's specific for what you're transmitting on. Now, while it may be kind of a niche item, it's really cool for anybody who wants to switch back and forth between frequencies. Now, another huge claim to fame for Rabbit Labs is this guy, the Master Blaster. Now, the Master Blaster is a really, really nice IR blaster. Featured here with a case by Scan Solo, it's actually one of the best IR blasters on the market. Now, this little IR board can pretty much blow almost any other IR board out of the water. These high quality, super focused LEDs make it have a much, much better range than things like the IR Dazzle. Honestly, as far as IR blasters go, there's really not much competition aside from this guy. Now, this is the Slim Shady IR blaster. Now, the Slim Shady IR blaster goes from 12 LEDs on the Master Blaster to 18, eight of which of those LEDs are high output LEDs. What's also nice about this is that it actually doesn't get anywhere near as hot as most of the competitors. It also does not have any status LEDs, so when it's running, you can barely see it. What's also nice about it is that it's extremely form factor and really the only overhangs on it are on the side so you can actually unplug the thing without damaging the pins. Now IR blasters are a blast, but I have to warn you, make sure to only test your own equipment. Using an IR blaster in the wrong situation is likely to get your ass kicked. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. Another really cool board over at Rabbit Labs is actually kind of my nemesis. It's the Multipass. Now, the Multipass is actually what's called a mag spoof board. What this guy does, it allows the Flipper Zero to emulate a magnetic stripe like what would be on the back of a credit card. If you look really close on the top of the card, you can see basically a coil that coil can actually emulate a magnetic stripe to a card reader. Now, regrettably, I've had nothing but trouble with mag stripe stuff, but it's not to say the thing doesn't work. That's kind of a me issue, but I promise one of these days I'll get it working for you and show you exactly how to make it work. Now, another really cool, but kind of niche board that I have from Rabbit Labs is the flipping serial. Now, what's cool about this guy is it actually puts an RS-232 port that you can hook directly up to your Flipper Zero. I also just love the silk screen on the back. It is so cool. Now it's a bit of a niche item, but it does allow pretty much anything with an RS-232 port to interface directly with our Flipper Zero. Rabbit actually used his to interface his Flipper Zero with his Ubiquiti Edge Router 4. It's actually surprising how many modern pieces of equipment still have this port to interface. So maybe you don't use it every day, but a very specific number of people will find this very useful. Now that's not all that Rabbit Labs has to offer. Those those are just most of the things that I personally own. I've got a pretty good collection, but if you have a better one, leave it down in the comments below. Now you can see down here on the brand new Rabbit Lab store, there's a number of different things that I don't have that you can check out, including prototype boards. We've got the uh, Minion Marauder. This guy is so cool. And we also have things like the Batty Board, Ultrasonic Board. We've got the original IR Blaster. And yeah, some of the other things I've shown you earlier. Now, obviously some things do sell out. So join the Rabbit Labs Discord to be the first to know about all of their restocks. I know I talk about Rabbit Labs all the time because I'm constantly using stuff from them. But now that they have this Hack RF based out of a store that's already in America, I really felt like I should show you guys all the things that they have to offer. Plus, these starter kits, I honestly believe, are a huge asset to the community. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you who have watched this far in the video. You guys are absolutely awesome. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.